Hey, Braves fans, welcome to the second installment of Quarantine Q&A as we continue to monitor the situation and baseball's halted, obviously, with this national crisis. And uh, this time we're catching up with former M Braves and possibly current M Braves first baseman slash catcher Ryan Castile. Last year at 21 home runs, 21 doubles, 73 RBIs. Uh, Ryan, for, how you doing? Good, man. Just uh, enjoying this downtime. Where, where are you right now? Uh, I'm down in Venice, Florida. So I, I'm in my spring training house currently. Going to be heading uh, to the Atlanta area in a couple of days to stay with a buddy, uh, my wife and I. Um, so then we're just kind of waiting for the all clear, and hopefully this goes away for everyone right. sooner rather than later. It's such a tough time for everybody, so it's, it almost seems selfish when we talk about baseball, but uh, what kind of news are you consuming right now, and then you know, who are you keeping in touch with with the Braves organization? Uh, I, I read the news every day, you know, just optimistic that not just for baseball fans and myself and my teammates, but for the nation. Like, I mean, people are, you know, more desperate than us, but are desperate, and they, you know, they need to work, and they want to get back to their normal routines. And I think we're all in this boat together. Um, so I, I've been watching the news, just hoping for that break that we found a cure, you know, something positive. There's a lot of negative out there. So just trying to um, filter out the, the good and the bad is, is a daily challenge. Right. And, and I know your guy and all you guys are, are, uh, you know, having to find ways to keep up your, your regimen, your workout routine with, with everything closed, what are you doing to, to stay in shape and, and kind of stay in game shape? So there's a, there's a local facility here in Sarasota that's actually opened its doors for some pro guys. Um, and, and they've been great. They, they've let me, they let me come up whenever I want. So I've been going up there trying to minimize contact. So I'll go up there like twice a week and hit um, and, and work out. And then I've been doing some workouts at home. Um, some, you know, virtual <laughs> Peloton workouts actually with the wife. And, uh, I've been throwing with my roommate, Tyler Matzik, who's a pitcher. So he's having to throw daily. And, uh, so we've just been kind of doing everything together and catching pins and just trying to stay away from people as much as possible. Right. Um, you know, I know a lot of, a lot of players and a lot of, uh, people right now are, potentially in need of, of help? I mean, is there anybody out there that you know of that, that fans might can, can try and help out or reach out to, or is there anybody uh, that you've heard of? You know, not, not real close to me. I've been pretty fortunate that, you know, my family's safe. Um, you know, they're, they're staying away from people that haven't gotten it. Thank God. Um, so I, I just think, you know, I, I think the key for society is just everybody looking out for everybody. And, right. you know, I try not to be, selfish and like I got to work out I got to play you know practice because just me going every day being around people could expose an elderly person and where it might not affect me because I'm young and healthy it, it could kill them so just trying to be sure. cognizant of you know this is a real issue um, and it, it is serious so yeah I think I think we all have have kind of had all the ranges of, of of emotions it's almost like grief in a sense you know you get mad you're sad you you know, you're optimistic at times, you know, what, what's kind of motivating you every single day right now? Honestly, like I just remind myself, baseball is not, it's not done. You know, we're still going to, you know, hopefully have a season and this is going to pass and, you know, it's a resilient nation. So people are resilient. They're going to do what they have to do to survive. And we're all going to get through this together. I know for you, I mean, you've kind of turned into that veteran presence for, for the clubhouse with the teams that you've been on, at least in recent years and last year with, with the Embraves. Has any younger players maybe looked to you for advice in this time? I mean, there's really no manual for what we're going through, but have you talked to any younger players? Uh, just my, my friends. Um, you know, here actually in a couple of days when I do head up to Atlanta, I'm going to be hitting with Drew Waters. Um, so, you know, I think everybody – even, you know, I've played so many seasons. Like, I, I I don't have the answers for this. I've never seen anything like this in my career. Like, the last 11 seasons had been pretty smooth as far as crisis goes. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I haven't really spoke to anybody regarding this because 
I don't even know how to right. answer myself. Like it's, I think everybody um, is, this is a first for everyone. Like our field coordinator Manzo, he, he said in our final meeting, like I've never, I've been in this game a long time. I've been through strikes. I've never seen anything like this. So I think we're all just kind of, this is, we're all rookies when it comes to handling this, this crisis. So, you know, uh, today, uh, somebody we're both close to, our GM, Pete Lav, and in Mississippi, uh, he was doing a, an interview with a local news station, and, and he kind of keeps in the back of his mind what that'll be like the first game, really, for, for any minor league or major league team after this will be like a community celebration. And that's kind of what keeps him deep inside that positive, optimistic mentality. Have you thought about that first game back wherever you might be starting the season? I'll just be thankful, honestly. Like, you know, just to, to be out there doing what we've trained our whole life to do and just having a good time. Like, I just miss hanging out, you know, with the guys. Like, go, you know, you look back at your career. And for me, like, years I've played, I don't remember each game individually, but I remember all my teammates and all those moments. That's what I, I know for myself, you know, as I stuck playing MLB The Show and video games and, laying low that's what i miss is just hanging out with the guys and just that interaction on a day in and day out basis well it kind of leads me into my next question you know what what are you doing outside of training and maybe getting outside a little bit to, to pass the time you binging any 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 shows on on netflix or hulu uh you know i i was going to the beach until it got shut down but i uh, been playing a, a lot of mlb the show uh, just hanging out the house, trying to be outside, going on walks at night with the wife, and just, you know, just it it's it's tough because I I'm always like on the go, so this whole break is t teaching me how to slow down and just kind of enjoy and be thankful for the small moments that we kind of take for granted when we're traveling and playing 140 games a year. When you're playing MLB the Show, minor league guys are are on there now. Do you, are you happy with your your attributes and and ratings on MLB the Show? I'm not really. I thought my power numbers were a little low. Um, I, I'm pretty sure Trey Harris has got higher power numbers, and he knows, and I know that I have more power than him. I mean, so, yeah, I'm a little disappointed that he's got more pop than me, and, you know, I, I've got more juice than him. But I'm just – it's cool to see myself on there. Um, they even got the goatee, the yeah. glove I used last year. Like, it's pretty cool, like, seeing that and having people from back home – like, hey, you're on, you're famous. You're on a video game. I'm like, yeah, but my rating's 59. So, <laughs> um, my my uh, my next uh, I think guest will be Drew Waters. So that'll be interesting with him uh, to to see what he's doing in this uh, in this quarantine. You guys are going to hit together, so that should be interesting. Yeah, he's he's probably the only guy that could hit 300 in a quarantine. So, <laughs> uh, I'm sure it will be interesting. Did you see uh, William Contreras and Wilson uh, using a Nerf gun uh, to take batting practice? Uh, they put that on, I think, on their TikTok. I mean, that's a unique way to to to, to kind of take BP and not not wear down the arm. I like that. That's creative. I might have to uh, invest in some Nerf guns. <laughs> Twenty-one home runs last year. You need uh, eleven to tie the M Braves all-time record. Now, there's obviously chance you'll be in Gwinnett. Maybe a chance you come back to Mississippi, but. You know, when we get back going, 12 home runs, and you might be the all-time uh, Embrace home run leader. That's that's something to, to put on your uh, your mantle. Absolutely. I don't know whether I should be proud of that or <laughs> I should be embarrassed because that means I've been in double-A too long. <laughs> you should be but proud. <laughs> certainly, you know, any kind of honor like that is, is great. Hopefully I do go to Gwinnett, but, you know, that's out of my control. Wherever I'm at, I'm going to just do my thing and be grateful. So, Gotcha. Ryan Castile here on Quarantine Q&A. Uh, finally, any uh, any words of wisdom for M Braves and Braves Nation out there? Just we're all in this together. Hang on. We're, we're coming, whether it's to Pearl or Gwinnett or wherever we're all assigned. We're, we're, we'll be there, and uh, hopefully um, it'll be sooner rather than later. And stay healthy. So sure. wash your hands. Just, <laughs> you know, the, the more we can kill this, the, the quicker – um, not just baseball, but lives get back to normal. So, and for praying sure. for everybody who is affected. Like this is scary stuff, um, especially for you know the elderly and our grandparents. So, just really thoughts and prayers go out to uh, to those people who are affected. I'm fortunate. You're fortunate that we haven't got it. Thank God. So, um, 
just thinking about everybody who's dealing with that. Ryan, thanks for uh, taking some time tonight. Uh, best wishes to you, your wife, uh, to the Mad Six there with you, and uh, hope to be seeing you very, very soon. Absolutely, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for having me on.